Good morning, Eagle Point Community Bible Church. I pray this recording finds you doing well, healthy, and strong in your own homes. Um, if you're not, if you're struggling, if you're elderly and unable to get to the stores for food or for prescriptions, please call the church down here. We would want to take care of you. We have teams of people we're putting together to make sure that we can serve the needs of our elderly and the sick. Please don't hesitate to call us. Um, as this quarantine goes on and we enter into the phase now of where we're quarantined to home, restricted to our homes largely, I wanted to take a minute and encourage you in something that I'm struggling with. Uh, two nights ago, my, uh, my daughter, she wanted to be on the computer. And while she's, I told her, no, not right now. We're not going to get on the computer right now. And she just kept on and on, as, as sometimes teenagers can do. She just wanted to be on that computer. And it took a few times before I responded in a not-so-gracious way. I let the frustration come out, and I, I gave her some pretty strong words to quit asking me. And I wasn't very proud of my response, so much so that I had to come back later and apologize to my daughter and ask for her forgiveness so that we might move on in a healthy manner. And it, it brought to light to me that if I'm struggling with this, then I think that the overall society's threshold for anger and frustration is maybe lowering. Maybe it's just the pressure of the virus on, around us and of this world situation around us is just kind of simmering up underneath us and causing us to be a little bit more easily irritated. So I want to encourage you today with a few scriptures regarding this. The first one comes in Proverbs 14:29. It says, whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who has a hasty temper exalts folly. Boy, I encourage you to be slow to anger so that we can have a better understanding of what's going on in our families and a better understanding of what's going on in our world. When we get angry, when I get angry, I lose my ability to understand what's going on around me, and I just respond quickly and rashly. Secondly is I don't want to exalt folly. I want my children to see a wise dad who is responding to a stressful situation in an appropriate manner. And I want them to see that as an example. So I encourage you in the same. The second scripture is Proverbs 15, 1. And it says, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. If you are finding frustration or anger in your home during this time, and you're going, man, the stresses of what's going on are just getting to me and my family, I would encourage you with this. Answer them with soft answers. Be ready and recognize that the frustrations will probably come in somebody in your family and take that opportunity to respond to them gently and kindly and with love. And hopefully with that manner, we can keep some peace in our houses during this time of stress. I hope that the Lord just blesses you abundantly during this time. If you have any concerns, do give us a call and you're in our prayers. God bless you. Bye-bye.